we sign a contract at the start of every year. It's like a list of rules saying that I will not, I will not, I will not. No drinking, no drugs, no sex. We do things a little bit differently oh. here. I just don't want to pour my whole heart out right off the bat. No, guard your heart, but yeah. like tell me everything, but like guard it. I've never had a girlfriend my entire life. Everyone around here is trying to find their spouse. It's like a marriage hunting ground. You don't want to miss out on what this campus has to offer. The atmosphere is like a giant utopia. This whole thing is embarrassing. Why did I even agree to this? All right, Hannah, I want to see something that's going to blow your mind. Huh. Me and girls. Yeah. Ooh, are there a lot of girls in my life? Not dating any, unfortunately. These are all moves I learned when I was eight to 12. Like, start with something basic, to no handlebars. Oh. Oh. I am definitely considering dating. I'm not actively seeking it out. I'm just letting it come to me organically. Hannah? Oh. Yeah. Are That's you feeling cool. impressed right now, Hannah? Now, you can do things to yourself to make yourself more approachable. Your personality plays a big role, especially for me. Being 5'5", five five, I am shorter than the standard man. So having a larger personality with a shorter height can create this equi equilibrium where women can see, like, he's short, but he's got a good personality. And it seems to work 99% of the time. Actually, that number's a little bit too high. Let's go with 97% of the time. The Lord, he is not an early riser. No, he prefers the evening cool. Why did we stay up so late? Your fault. How is it my fault? I don't know. You didn't tell me what time we had to wake Oh, up. my God. This is not a good look for this thing today. <laughs> Why is there a mirror right here? <laughs> I didn't realize that there was going to be hiking involved in this. I just shoot. don't want a rock to like. Oh my gosh! <laughs> let loose. Like loose and go down this way. I just like the views. Like what's it called? Look, Valley of just, Fire. Just like if you look out, it just like goes on for so long. Okay, let's go find them because I'm tired okay. and I'm thirsty and we're alone. You sound. And I think I might be lost. <laughs> Today, Michelle and I are going to do a photo shoot for straight skateboards. This is the first photo shoot I've ever gone to where I've actually had to like hike to the perfect spot, you know, to take the pictures for. It was so worth it though, because it was so pretty. Leave those. That's right, it's part of the experience. Yeah. Yeah, welcome to the desert. That's cool. Rob has told me that he's going to take me to some tunnels. Now, I don't know what to expect, because these tunnels run under campus, apparently. <laughs> I love exploring. I like things that are dark. I've been spending too much on the surface. I need to go underneath the surface, literally. Come here. Hey, little buddy. What's up, big man? <laughs> oh, hey, little man. <laughs> How are you? I'm good, dude. How are you doing? So, you ready? I'm ready. Though, as much as I would love to follow you blindly into situations, kind of would like a little heads up on what's going on. Okay. The plan with Tony today is that he's really a fish out of water, and so coming, him coming down to Southern California, we want to kind of give him not necessarily initiation, but maybe like a little adventure, per se. I don't know how I feel about this. Yeah, dude, this is pretty nasty. Oh. Is that just straight moss? It's like a heaping pile of mashed potatoes <laughs> left out on, like, a company picnic. That's pretty nasty, dude. I kind of like the idea of um, going across on this structure. You mean like? Like we go like monkey on it, orangutan. Heck yeah, dude. Okay. I'm calling you. 
All right, um, all right. If you fall, then I know. Catch me, Robert. Robert, I can't make it. Robert, I need your help. Robert, follow me. There's zero chance that I'm getting in that. Look a little to your left. But still at me, just put your head, yeah, that way, there you go. Yeah, you never really know what's quite going on in the photo shoots until you get there. For one of the themes, there were watermelons, and they actually wanted us to smash the watermelons off of the little rock tower that they built. So Cassie, you're gonna swing. We only have a small amount of watermelons, so you gotta make sure each swing counts. Okay. Uh, and we'll switch up after a while. So you gotta swing hard, be tough, swing at it as hard as you can. This is real? Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm rolling. Okay, ready? And three, two, one, swing. <laughs> you weren't tough. What? You weren't tough. Oh my God. <laughs> you were so excited about how you hit that. That's all right, it's probably still good. Let's watch it, watch it. Yeah, I'll do it again. Yeah. Look how tough you look. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay, we'll do it again, but you gotta be tough. You gotta be tough. Michelle was actually really good at it. She could keep a straight face a lot better than I could. But, I mean, my watermelon smashes were pretty great too, so. Robert, I need your help. Dude, Robert, no, you, follow me. There's zero chance Philippines that I'm getting in that. Philippines 413. You can do you. all things to Christ who strengthens you. I'm coming to get you. It's going to the tunnels. It's something that you at least hear about while you're at Biola, and not necessarily everyone right, does. We know he's afraid of like cockroaches, and I don't know how afraid he is of the dark, but both those things are definitely there. Okay, now it's just like 200 yards that way. Rob? He looks like a good leader. Looks like he loves Jesus. Looks like he has some sort of wisdom in him. I can't put my finger on it, but just this father masculine aroma that just radiates. I'm like, wow, this is really warming. I like Rob. Get ready to meet some friends. Oh gosh. Before we go in. I warmed him up. I got us a little gift. Oh. <laughs> Are you nice kidding? No. You're a great guy, Rob. You ready for this? Yeah. It's yeah, I am. Down. I am, Rob. It just, I don't know if this will illuminate it, anything for me. It doesn't. Dude, I, yes. I, That's perfect. OK, let's just go hey. in there. You ready for this, dude? I was born ready for this. Let's go get him. OK, OK. Okay, I'm following you. Are you kidding me? I don't even have this illumination. This is all part of, you know, you're a freshman, it's just part of the... The thing doesn't even oh, illuminate no. anything. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I know, it was really fun. I'm glad you had me come. Do you think people from Biola will like be weird about it or anything? No. I mean, they shouldn't be. I just think sometimes with like Instagram or like anything like that, if you post like a picture of yourself or like you like model or something, people think you're like self-absorbed or like I know, like from where we used to live. Yeah. I just don't find anything wrong with modeling and like some people just like find it as like ungodly. What would you say to someone if they like just told you that's too inappropriate, that's too sexually suggestive, like like on Instagram or something? Yeah, like, or like picture. if they just told you or that. Or like about I something. know like people who have like said stuff like posting like a picture like oh like smiling in a bathing suit and it's like oh that's like so sexual or like oh that's so bad and like you shouldn't be doing that if you're Christian, like you're supposed to be representing God and it's like okay, like to a point yes, but like if it's innocent, if it's like you're just like smiling like everyone has a body. I don't understand. Like, yes, if you're like, look at my boobs, like, that's weird. But like, if you're just like in a bathing suit and you're at the beach or like, 
Yeah. Something like you know, like you're like you're not being like provocative. Yeah, like you're it. not like trying. If that's not your intention. Exactly. Like, we've had a lot of conversations about what's too provocative, what's crossing the line. Um, I think a lot of it is the vibe that you're giving off too. Like you don't want to come across as something that you're not. And as Christians, like we're supposed to be different from the rest of the world, you know? So I think that should be apparent in the industry as well. Like we're not going to be the same as every single other model out there because we're not going to model the same way as them. We're not going to pose like in promiscuous, like super sexual, you know? I think as long as you're answering to God, like for what, how you choose to show yourself or how your reputation is, like that's what matters. I'm actually, oh I'm actually not joking. There, there seriously could be people right here. And don't look down because there's. Oh my there. God! Stop! 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 Don't, don't yell at me because people will actually hear us. I think I see something. No, that's light from. Are you sure? Street. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I've done this before. Dude. I don't feel safe at all. Garrett and I came up with this idea. I told him that I had this freshman, you know, I'm gonna take him through the tunnels, and so we're like, oh, perfect, let's scare the crap out of this guy. And so I put Garrett back in the tunnel, like, 100 yards or something like that. And so when he hears us coming down, he's supposed to act like some homeless guy and run out and just attack us. Hey, hey, hey just don't, don't read anything on the wall. You just keep walking. I don't like it. I don't mean it. It's so derogatory and explicit. <laughs> This is the worst illumination ever. If I had a daughter and I had to give her a headlamp, I would not give her this. Just, you see any cockroaches yet? Oh, no, 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 I'm not even looking for them. I will, I will, I'm gonna explode with fear. See, aren't you glad you joined me on this? I'm not gonna lie, this, I'm having fun, I'm having fun. But Look I at the man bonding and how. Shh, 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 oh gosh. Hey, no, hey, shh, shh. Oh, oh wait, miss it. Ready? Okay, here you go. Look at <laughs> Try your so face hard. after. <laughs> You're laughing. <laughs> Oh, I have to show Kalen these. He'll like them. I think he'll like the videos. If any, if he has a problem with the pictures, the videos are so funny that I don't even know. No, I know. I don't. He think won't he even have a problem. Yeah, no, you'll be fine. He'll be fine. It was so fun too. I would totally do it again. I know. Me too. Be. I want to. I want to go smash never, like, I want to go back to that we'll place. Ever have a fun shoot like that ever again? Cross your fingers. Sometimes I think graffiti or vandalism is the best advice I can get. You know what I mean? At least this isn't like super wet. Oh, it's wet enough though. Yeah, but last time I was here. Nice. Dude, last time I was here, there was cockroaches everywhere. Oh gosh, Rob, stop it, stop it, stop it! The swarm of bats. They're one of my biggest fears in life. That and, I don't know, maybe women. Once you get deep enough in these tunnels, like there's gets to be like a lot of cockroaches. And so I know Garrett's coming up pretty quick and out of the side of this tunnel just comes like 15, 20 cockroaches just like spreading out all over the wall and he just loses it. Was, I was having a good time with Rob. Things got dark. Some guy came out, but I didn't even care. As soon as I saw a cockroach, everything just went black. I, I just started thinking of Jesus, of light, just no more darkness. I just wanted out.
<laughs> You've forsaken me. Are you okay? You left me to the devil's den. Dude, I thought I actually thought you were joking for a second. No, <laughs> I wasn't joking. I told you, my biggest fear in life are cockroaches. <laughs> Dude, there was oh, a swarm of them. Oh, God, stop it. They were all over, Oh, That's the kind of fun that I've had growing up my entire life. Is scaring people like I would scare my sister all the time. I scare my parents all the time, and so doing this, like I really didn't feel that bad. I feel like it's kind of like initiation. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Dude, that's part of the group, man. Facing your fears. You, I was like, you killed that. I'm like Batman with childhood trauma. Dude, thank you, thank you for the light. You yeah. know what I'm saying? This was the worst. <laughs> Barbie light. Hey, that's Ooh. a gift. I'm oh, sorry. Okay, I'll pick it up later. <laughs> okay. When I was about was five years old. I was in Minnesota at my grandparents' house and I was playing in their basement and I would always play in this pile of popcorn seeds <laughs> with toys, but one day I decided to observe what I was sitting in and it wasn't popcorn seeds. It was like a carcass of ladybugs, just like, I, like ankle deep and I was just playing in it. I, I've never saw bugs in the same light again. And Rob just brought that memory back to me. Lord is my shepherd. I will Hi. Hey. I got the pictures. Yeah? Yeah, do you wanna see them? Yeah. You excited about them? Yeah. But you tell me what you think first. Okay. Um, there's one. Nice. That's Isn't that cool. cool? It is. It's really cool. So you like it? I definitely like that one. Uh, what do you think about your... Sh I, I, I don't want to sound nitpicky either, but you just asked me to be honest with you. But what do you think about your shorts? I don't know. What do you think? Well, you know what I'm like getting at. Because you think they're too short. And do you not? Okay, yeah. Well, I don't think you need to be so, like... I'm not being. Yeah. I'm, you asked me to be honest about I know, what I thought but about them. I don't. I just want. I don't want you to like examine every single part of the photo. Like, just look at it and tell me if it's cool or not. Do you not think that those shorts are? I mean, it looks to me. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like your butt is pretty much hanging. Like I can see your butt. Part of it. Your butt is hanging out of your okay, shorts. Okay, Kalen. Well, I'm not. I'm just talking to you. Okay. Don't you want me to be comfortable with it? Isn't that why we're talking about it? Well, yeah, but like, I don't get how Do you, you can be fine with me doing like a bathing suit thing, but then like, not be fine with me. Well, typically in a bathing suit, like, that's the norm of it, right? Like, you're gonna wear, I don't think you've worn like a revealing bathing suit in the sense of what a bathing suit is. Why are you asking me that? Are you trying to like change my mind? So, but do you think that's fine? Like, yeah. having your butt hang out of shorts like that? It's not necessarily modest, am I right? Like, what's the difference between people seeing you in person and people seeing you in a picture? I don't know, Kaylin. I wouldn't walk around like that, but I, know I mean, would, I might. That's why you're I might. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Would you wear these shorts walking around Biola like that? No, everything's why different. You? It's the same reason I wouldn't walk around in a bikini at Biola. It's not the right place. Dude, that was great. I don't know if great would be the words I describe that as. An experience. Do you feel stronger right. now? No. no. I feel vulnerable. <laughs> like, that's that's good. exactly what that's we want perfect. in our group. Vulnerability. You learned your lesson. Welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Vulnerability. I don't know why See, I need now that. Now we can get into deeper, more meaningful things. I've seen you at your most vulnerable state. I don't want it ever to be there again. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think oh, that correct. Tony took it too hard. I don't think there's any emotional long-term damage. He seemed to be okay with it. I mean, we we we're, we met up um, after, and he, and he seemed to be totally cool with it. I have to be more cautious with Rob. He's crafty. He'll use your biggest fears against you. I saw him as this masculine father figure, and next thing you know, your dad's betraying you, throwing you to the bugs in the dark.
Hi. How was work? It was good. It's all right. Yeah. So what's up? I feel like we kind of left off our conversation a little. I just feel like you won't really talk to me. You just kind of give me it is how it is answers. Well, I don't really know what to say. Like, I just, I didn't even like, note, like it wasn't even like a problem to me. I didn't even notice really. So when you look back on them, do you see like any, you don't see anything wrong with it still though, from what it sounds like? No. Yeah, I don't want to be really inappropriate and like immodest or anything. But like certain things are okay with me that aren't okay with you and you just gotta like but that, understand that. That doesn't necessarily make something appropriate if something's okay with you and not with me, you know? And it doesn't make it inappropriate if it's not okay with me and if it's okay with you. Yeah, like it doesn't make it bad. I know, it but it that's okay. just my question was but for inside. for me, that's okay. Okay. Well, I'm, I'll just tell you that it's not something that I am 100% comfortable with, but I don't want it to cause problems in our relationship. So if it's something that I'm gonna have to just live with and something I'm just gonna have to be okay with, then I'm willing to do that to have a good relationship with you. Because it's in the big picture, I don't think it's worth it. But at the same time, like, I think it would make me feel a little better if you kind of have the same attitude towards me. What do you mean? Like, whether or not it's appropriate for the shoot, like maybe just keep in mind if it's worth it in terms of helping me be comfortable. That makes me really happy to hear that, that he would be willing to make it work for me, or with me. Um, I don't know, it kind of scares me when I hear that too because I hate disagreeing with people on things. Like, I don't like arguing, I don't like not getting along. Like, I'd rather just not have any drama at all. And I just hope it's easy for us to get through it. Robert, this is how I feel right now. You you feel like a giant smushing a cockroach? No. This is Rob and this is the cockroach. This is actually, this is a cockroach. There's like 200 of them. Well, that looks kind of like fun. Did you kill all the cockroaches? I killed like three and then I ran. There were too many. Oh, are you scared? Let's just say it was like the most horrifying experience of my life. Was Rob actually topless the whole time? Uh, no, it's just kind of how I imagined him without a shirt on. Is he really that ripped? Yeah. He's got really long legs, too. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, I didn't mean to laugh at the picture. 